Sarah from Heirloom Creations in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. With the popularity of our Ruler of the Month last year, we've decided to do a Soy Machines Foot of the Month. So each month, we're going to highlight a specialty foot with its many uses. So many feet have multiple uses other than what its given name states. So for example, a cording and piping foot can be used to apply pearls, yarns, and decorative fibers. We're going to do two videos each month, one for Bernina feet and one for Husqvarna Viking feet. If you own other sewing machine brands, these feet are readily available for most sewing machines. We even stock a, a line of generic feet that often fit older sewing machines. Come on, let's go to the sewing studio and check out some of these cool feet. For the Bernina, there are actually two feet that will do the piping or cording. There's number 12 or number 12C. Now C means that it's coated, which will allow for sewing machines that have 9 millimeter wide stitching to be able to use all their needle positions. Personally, I recommend 12C for all my Bernina users because it has two things. Number one, it has a taller tunnel for thicker piping, plus it even has a hole on the top that we'll use later for feeding fibers down the foot and having it track. So when we're actually sewing, we wanted to cut our fabric on the bias, put our cord in between, and then set our sewing machine to be with the needle in the far right needle position for first encasing the cord inside our fabric. See how that's just going to track the cord? It's going to make it really easy. You can do miles of the cord within just a matter of minutes. I want to show you next how to turn a corner when applying piping to, say, a pillow. We're going to use this second step to kind of base and hold our piping in place to our base fabric. As we approach the corner, we're going to take our scissors and clip in to the piping. That way it's going to allow it to curve as we go. We're going to go ahead and stitch right up to where the clip was made. Sink the needle down. I like to take one extra step, stitch kind of on the diagonal at this point. And then realign for my second side. Now before we put this all enclosed, you remember we moved the needle position over to the far right? Now we're going to move the needle position back towards the center one or two amounts. That way when you stitch you're going to get a nice hugged seam plus it's going to hide the stitching that was used to secure this in place. So we're going to just put that in over our piping, set that down. Again the foot has that wonderful tunnel so it's going to just track right next to the piping. Even though we can't see it we can feel it a little bit and it will keep it all aligned. Ready to see the final results? Trim out the seam allowances and turn right side out. You're going to notice that all your stitching has been completely hidden and that bias fabric has turned the corner perfectly. Here are a few other uses for this foot. If you want to apply some trim along the edge, set your trim in the groove of the foot and then set a zigzag to just barely catch the fabric and the trim. Now I've actually switched to a clear thread. So it's going to be very invisible and it will just look like it's floating right along the edge. Likewise, you could take a string of pearls and apply them also along the edge. You just want to again make the zigzag wide enough to jump over the pearls. The clear thread again is going to make it look like it's floating along the edge. Of course, if you want these to look like they're stitched onto the fabric, we can just come in here, take a few stitches, and that foot's going to guide them wherever you want to go. I usually like to make the stitch length the same distance as the pearl. So if it's actually three millimeter pearls, I'll set the stitch length to three. And kind of just make it so one stitch per strand is left to hold them in place. Lastly, one of my favorite things to do with this foot is to utilize the hole that's on the top. I've fed some decorative yarn down through the foot and set the machine to be just a wide zigzag enough to encase the yarns. 
and I don't want the stitch length too close together. I want it to kind of hop quickly over the yarns so it just makes it look like it's going to, again, float across the top of your fabric. Even on a serger, there's a cording foot. A big tunnel, run your cord down the middle of your bias fabric, and because sergers go faster than sewing machines, you're gonna be able to whip through any length of cording you need to make. Since a Bernina cording foot is actually called a multi-purpose foot, after you do your cord, you can actually go and string your string of pearls down through the groove and just stitch them in place. Again, match your stitch length to the pearl length, and then you'll get one stitch per pearl. And it'll keep it away from the knife, so you don't have to worry about cutting anything.